we ready to get going? Good evening, good evening, everybody. I hope we have some friends online and we have some friends um, here in person. Um, my name is Liz Juno, and I welcome you to Wel well Wednesday Wellness at West Side. As many of you know, um, Wellness Wednesday at West Side is an outreach of the West Side Presbyterian Church intended to help all those who are on a journey toward wellness. We are a collaborative community seeking to integrate body, body, mind, and spirit. And we are committed to presenting people and practices and ideas that benefit the whole person for the whole of life. And that is why we are really just thrilled to have Raya Hawks with us. Raya has a beautiful bio biography and I was just mesmerized after we spoke and met last week and I heard your story about what you do. So rather than me introducing you, I would love you to just tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're passionate about this beautiful art of Sayori weaving. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me and thank you for coming. Um, Please feel free either after or even during to interrupt me if you have a question. Um, I'm sort of spontaneous, so that might work. Um, and I also have to see what I'm some of my slides. So I um, was a nurse, as I say, in another life. Um, I was a pediatric um, oncology nurse. I worked with children with cancer and sickle cell disease. And um, now I'm a weaver. And when I was a nurse, I was very, at one point, I was a chemo nurse, and I was a bone marrow transplant coordinator. I was very into family and into what, the, what it was like for them. Um, I, w I mean, I was a real nurse, really, really a real nurse on the floor at one point, but I got more into education and into understanding um, what some of the families were going through. Uh, so, um, let me see. I'm just gonna explain the type of weaving I do and I'm gonna weave in and out my history with this. So we're going to, I'm gonna teach you and take you on a journey of Sayori weaving. Sayori weaving was founded in Japan in 1968 by Miss Ao Jo, who was a housewife. And she, uh, when her kids grew up, she started uh, doing plant or, or, arranging. Somehow she got into weaving and she was making an, an obi and someone said, oh, but you have a mistake. And she goes, oh, but look, look, the mistake makes it look beautiful. And she was very upset that her piece was rejected. So she said, I can do this myself. So she had her sons make her a loom, and you'll see a picture of the loom. Um, and her it became a philosophy. Sa, the name comes from, it's the first syllable of a Zen word. That means everyone has their own individual dignity. And ori is a Japanese word which means weaving. So sayori weaving is about working with all kinds of people to make beautiful garments, scarves, earrings, whatever, through using your own style. And yeah, you can do it perfectly if you want to. If that's what you like to do, that's great. If you like to do everything perfect and then there's one mistake and you're all right with it, fine. Or you can do this. Um, so it's really how you want to. Um, it's art is what you, or it appeals to you. Um, so let me see this. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that up for a minute and say that I started weaving, uh, I started a program of weaving while I was a nurse and I would take looms into the patient's rooms and um, if I thought a parent or a child would want to do that, the, the loom was big and I had to be able to trust the parent or the child not to throw it out the window or something. But um, I would get to know them and they're in bone marrow transplant, they're there for a month, six weeks, and they could use a project. And this one girl, she was really tough. She was from the Ukraine actually, so, um, and she got cancer. Uh, she lived near Chernobyl. She was about 18, and she was a tough teenager. And when she relapsed, she needed a bone marrow transplant. So that everyone said, oh my God, you're gonna transplant her? I'm like, well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna facilitate this. And so um, I met her and she, I said, do you like to weave? And she's like, whatever. And I said, well, listen, <laughs> you know, we have to talk about a few things because you're gonna have to sit up when you get a transplant and you're gonna have to move your legs and you're gonna have to move your arms and you can either deal with me or you can deal with physical therapy, take your pick. Um, so she sort of got the idea that physical therapy wasn't her 
gig, and this was more fun. So I had another person help me, and as you can see with the Sayori weaving, um, it's all about color and texture. I have to look, sorry about that, um, as well as design. So it's color, you can see it's color, texture. Um, it emphasizes creativity and free expression. Um, there are no rules, as you might have gotten the idea. There's no fear, because you cannot make a mistake, and you just become absorbed and immersed into the weaving uh, and working with the yarns and thread. And I sort of had a bad day before I came here. Um, and so I wanted to start you know, a, a piece so you could see it. And I am not kidding. This is a commercial, but it's the truth. I was much felt much better after I did this. I felt I was centered. Um, I, I love texture, and, and the, just feeling it and looking at it really brought me back, because um, otherwise I wasn't nice when I first got here, probably. Um, uh, it is a non-technique. Um, it's meditative in nature, and as our weaver um, here knows, that it can, you, when you go back and forth, it's very it's very meditative, it's very calming. So once you've got your design or you know what you want to do, um, I tend to be somewhat erratic, so that worked for me. But you can use the same color, you can do the same stitch. It really is up to you, and that's what's cool about it. Um, so there are four principles. Um, consider the differences between people and machines. Well, okay, a machine, a person. A machine couldn't make that. Um, be bold and adventurous. Take a chance. Use a color you don't like, but that, that's hard for me. You can guess which one my colors are, but sometimes I force myself to use orange, yellow, you know, and I've made some very nice things with that. Um, look out through eyes that shine. That's my favorite principle. And it's very controversial. Some people on the board of the organization, I'll tell you about at the end, um, was, was like, well, what does that mean? Like, you know, like, I don't get it. And I'm like, oh, but lo look at that guy's eyes. Look at him. Um, he is, and I'll t I'm gonna tell you a story in a minute. Um, if I could look, I, when I look through those eyes, I see the beauty of what he's done. And then the other thing that's gonna happen tonight is inspire one another and everyone in the group. And I know we wanna get to the weaving, but do I have time for a story? Okay, thank you. Um, I would really listen to you, um, majority rules. So Jonathan is um, at a place called AHRC in New York City where this, my organization works with people with cognitive and physical disabilities. And Jonathan did nothing but talk about this, um, what was she, not Haitian, um, Malaysian magician. And everyone was getting a little tired of him drawing this Malaysian magician for a year. Um, and then we came on the scene with our weaving. And he had done some weaving and it was like back to the magician. And so the teacher said, why don't you make a doll? He'd been drawing this, um, this person and he made a doll. And look at his eyes, just look at how happy he is. He was so proud of himself and he got everybody in the group to draw a picture and then make a doll out of their weaving. So it is a community, can be a community spirit piece. Um, it can bring people together um, and that's that. Okay, the loom. Um, so, this is a Sayori loom. It's got what, if anyone knows how to weave, it has just two heddles, two things that go up and down, which makes it very simple. Um, this is called the warp, and what goes back and forth is called the weft. That weighs 35 pounds, even I can carry it. Um, and uh, we, it folds up, you can see here, you know, that this part folds, so it's about this high and about this wide for storage, or to take, I could have brought my loom here, we can talk about that, except I don't have a lot of looms. Well, I do, but that would be hard. Um, so this is what you're going to do today. And I'm gonna leave this picture up when we start. Um, and so this is creative cardboard weaving. Uh, this is called the warp these up and down strings, the back and forth are called the weft. I didn't bring these and we don't really need it for the day, but sometimes we put something underneath to help us get under, in between um, the weaving. What else does it say? 
Um, you can use a tapestry needle or a paper clip if that's easier to get it to. So I'm going to just leave this up here in a minute. I have one more slide, I think. Uh, now just to show you some, exp some visuals. This was made by a friend of mine for me, just as you are going to make today. Um, and she used a, um, a twig for a dowel. Uh, this was the one that came in, out in the um, bulletin, I think. And uh, I gave a Wednesday wellness talk at the hospital, and I had everyone use stuff from their desk. So actually, this is the one I did from the hospital. This is COVID. My title of this piece is COVID. And it has um, masks. It has tissues. It has, there's a, there's, um, a Q tip. Um, you know, swab your nose, wear your mask. Um, and this was the piece that I did for that on Wellness Wednesday. But the sun is shining and it will be over. We all don't really know when, but that was my interpretation. Um, let's see, I think I have one more. Yeah, I, so I got a camp, a week out camp with kids with cancer and sickle cell. And so the theme of that week was safari. Uh, there is still a mask in there because this one was done when we, in the 2021, I guess. So we had families come in a pod for a day. And um, so there's a mask in there, uh, the tongue depressor. Um, and then just whatever was lying around the room um, is what I did. And somebody saw it on Facebook. I don't weave a lot. I run an organization that promotes this type of weaving. And I put it on Facebook and this woman who I didn't know her about said, can I buy that from you? And I was like, are you kidding me? I couldn't sell it. <laughs> I like, if you like it that much, I'm keeping it. Um, and then this was another thing that I did um, where you might want to do this type of weaving is just you're, you can just use yarn. I have, as you know, a treasure chest up here of different textures. Um, but if you're not into the texture world, you can, although I can make anything textured, you can weave um, with just yarn. You don't have to use the fancy stuff. And then on that, I wrote um, crisis looming on time for art. Um, so that was another COVID piece that I did. Yeah, that was, yeah. <laughs> so that's the deal. Um, oh, and then um, maybe I'll meet you as you go through. My name is Raya. Um, and then I don't know what your relationship with what yarn is. Did you come for a reason that you wanted to just have a nice Wednesday out? Are you interested in yarn? Do you need a point? I've always loved the use of texture in my environment, in my clothes, in my um, decoration. Yarn is a natural extension of my passion. Um, and so it, it, I was woven together to do this with, with working with people who, with disabilities, with people who have illness, or with parents, with parents who need time to, 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 to chill. Um, and with um, family members. So that's what I do. Um, I'm now going to teach you how to weave. Um, and that'll be the fun part. All right, thank you. Okay, sorry, my pants are falling. Oh dear, I hope, I hope this isn't taped. I'm like, <laughs> I came out of a com comedy show, right? <laughs> Okay, now, each one needs to take a, um, as you can sort of see from this, I chose a blue warp, but you really don't see the blue. So the warp that you're going to use will not be the predominant color. You can pick that color if you like, and there are lots of different colors on the table, so if you don't see a color that you like, please take one from, um, take to go to somebody else's, but I suggest you start with a weaving with the yarns that are on your table. <clears throat> okay, let me, I'm gonna use one. Yeah, I'm gonna, oh yeah, here, can you, you can come up with me. <laughs> I, I, I probably could use some help with that part. Okay, does everybody have yarn? Okay, let me get a yarn. All right, 
I did not pick up the orange. Um, but I didn't pick up a purple. So this is a stretch for me. I'm going to, uh, <laughs> okay, I'll try this. Thank you. It doesn't show that much. Um, so I'm going to take my yarn. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to start with a piece. I'm going to take a, a longish piece, and I'm going to hook it into this first notch. Then I'm going to go to the notch at the other side, and I'm going to hook it onto that. Then I'm just going to keep going around. I'm going to go around and hook a notch. Um, does everybody understand? I've recently been working with people um, who are of low vision, and I learned that my verb, my English language skills lack. So sometimes I'm a show and tell person. Uh, so you just go around. Getting started was always the hardest thing for me. All the way down. But you need to leave a pretty long piece at the back for, I'll show you why. That's OK. We'll have a long piece at the end. Don't worry. That's the thing about Sayori. There are adaptions. But if you could leave a long one, it would probably help. Beginning is always the hardest. Yes, that's good. Come up and go there. Come up and go there. Yeah. And, okay. and you, I would probably, since you're starting it here, it isn't perfectly cut. I would just keep going around like that. Oh, OK. So, so OK, you don't. You guys okay? Yes. And we're just taking it apart because we didn't leave it long. Are we supposed to cut it then? At the end, you're going to cut it. When you're done, don't cut it yet. Because I got texture ready. Cool. OK, so does anyone want to watch what you do at the end? What's your name? Karen. Karen. I'm cutting Karen's piece. Actually, you left a really long piece, probably. You said really long. I did say really long. <laughs> I can't get out of it, can I? <laughs> okay, you're going to cut, you're taking the back and you're, well, I'm going to take advantage of that long piece. And I'm going to just tie a bow, thank you, good catch, um, and secure it on the back so that this, although most of the tension will be in here, in case it gets loose, this will supply, give some additional ten tension. I'm coming. Again, my English words aren't good. Um, <laughs> okay, good. Um, let's see, cut it here. So you, you got the idea of what you were supposed to do if you didn't have a long piece. If you have a long piece, you, you did fine. You can also do it that way. Um, uh, just tie it in, tie a knot which is a little hard. Um, yeah, you can tie a knot. And then that just gives it extra security. The other way you did was fine, though. Um, OK. Let's see where. Let's see where. OK, yeah. Oh, yours um, is fine. Um, okay, we're going to cut it here, and we're going to t connect it. Each, some yours just got a little off center, which does not matter. It doesn't matter. And then it's it's fine. <laughs> there. Now you can see it's perfect from that side, so no problem at all. Yes. Oh, and you did a little one. That's cute. I did a little one. Oh, I love it. I do too. I like to fuck you. That's perfect. Okay, everyone looks like they're almost done. Go on, I'll catch up. Yeah, you'll know the weaving part. Well, maybe also the notch. Okay, Gabe. Gabe, where does he go? Are you, did you warp? Excellent. OK. I have the tech guy doing it, too. <laughs> Everybody does this. You know. OK, so to, st to start, starting anything to me is the new. I'm going to start. We're not going to look at this. 
I'm gonna pretend, yeah, I'm gonna start down here. Let's start again with an, e you can start with anything. Um, I'm gonna start with just an easy piece, not easy. I'm gonna start with the same texture. You don't have to start with the same texture. Um, actually, I won't start with the same texture. Um, sometimes it takes me a while to get going because there's so many things to choose from. So I'm gonna choose this one. Okay. Um, to start, it's like a, it's a pot holder. So the concept is actually very easy. Um, I'm gonna just go under, under the first one, over the next, under, over, under, over, under, over. Okay, so you can tuck this piece in behind to, to make help it stay if you want. We don't have to worry about the ends, we just need to make sure it's secure enough for the first time. So I just put mine behind, but I'm still gonna hold it when I weave because the first piece may come out. Has everyone got that one? And this is not, I mean, this isn't the easiest thing to learn. Can I show you? Yeah. You okay. Just start anywhere? Yeah, but what I would do is you, you will need to cut a piece of yarn. I didn't say that. You're going to need to cut a piece about the width of this, your, your arm's length. Is this the one you want? Sure. Okay. So that's it, like this? Yeah. And then... You take it and you put one, you can start over or under. I'm gonna just start under. Can we do it, keep doing these rows? Yeah, oh, you already did one, but um, I would keep it about there and tuck it under here. And then just be, okay. when, just be careful when you- What do we do with this end? Okay, now you did an, you did an under there. Uh -huh. Now you're gonna do an over. Okay, right. and then you'll see the pattern come. Gotcha. Okay, right. and then when you're done, you yeah, put it, push it and up then, there. Then we pick a different yeah, material. sometimes I tie it. You can when you get towards the end, you might tie it. It'll be a little okay. textured, but it will help you with the ends. And there's ton now you can go around the room, or you can come up to my table, and you can get. Okay. This is over. So then you go under here, turn around. Yeah, yeah, and then just leave a little tail. Hold on. This is just a hard part. Once you get started, it's easy. Once you're done with this part, you're on your, you're on a roll. So, the next one will be under. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that looks really pretty. The two colors. Yeah. So then how I'm just going to put, I mean, the tail is something we're not going to be perfect with tonight. Okay. Um, and then you just go, we turn around and you were under here, so you're over, under, over, under. Okay? Sure. Let's see. Yeah, and then you're just going to come back. Oh, this way. Yep. Oh, okay. oh, it's just like a pot holder, only you don't have the little hooks that hold it, if you remember pot holders. <laughs> Oh, decorating. yeah, this is basket weave, actually. <laughs> ah. Yeah, now, you're doing something different, which is good. Oh, no. no, it's great. <laughs> you're doing my style. Okay. You're my style. So you... you Sometimes you can have a longer one and you pull, I'm gonna show what you sometimes do, but I like what you're doing. So you're gonna keep that up, okay? Yeah, so then you just turn around like that. Just keep going back and forth, yeah. So your tail is here. 
Um, you can, if you don't like your tail, some people have tail management issues. Uh, <laughs> and, and you're just going to go back and forth. You, on the other hand, over, over, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to show you a picture of what um, this little... Thing as a but look, this is gorgeous. So far, you're my, I, you're my favorite. <laughs> you're my favorite. <laughs> no, no, let's see. I'm going to just show you a picture. And it's a, that. Hold on. I'm going to show you. You don't, have, you, you will or you won't. It doesn't matter either. I was wondering because hers is bending. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. If you want to use a non bended one because everyone else isn't bended and you're bended. <laughs> <laughs> right, but that's the whole. That's the point. You may be bended, but yours will be beautiful in its own way. Maybe I'll turn into my favorite. <laughs> Anything can happen. Okay. You can stop whenever you want. That's a good question. Just tie it onto there, or leave it. You can do either one. You can leave that there and start like you did all over again. This is where the words don't work. <laughs> now, what, you, what, you, what I would do if I were you making this piece, and I'll show you two pictures. I would cut this here, okay. and I'm, I'll see if I can, and you can keep going with, with these are lovely. Those, you know, you can keep going with ribbon if you want, or you can go with yarn. I'm gonna show you a picture of a piece. I mean, that's cool. Do you, do you knit? I crochet. Oh, I can't crochet to save my life. It's very hard for me. Yeah, no, I can't knit. Forget it. Okay, well. Well, so you did make a mistake. You didn't do it the way, you didn't follow directions. <laughs> but that doesn't, but in Sayori, it's be bold, be adventurous. Where is this thing? So her, this little girl, this person made a, a blanket for her doll. Yeah, so that's a blanket for 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 I can't I should remember the name of that duck, but I don't. Um, it'll come to me. Oh. They're great. They just make it for you. I could never do that. So she put a lot of, this is this kid. Um, she did, this is my grand, step-granddaughter. She did different rows and left them dangling too. So, because she, she used different colors each time. And if you hadn't seen her age, wouldn't you have loved it? Yeah, together. tie it together. Or yeah, or you can do it one of two ways. You can tie it together. If you think that's going to give you a knot that you don't like, cut this and then start like you did before. Okay. Either way. So tie it or just leave it? Yeah. And what happens to it? It's called, that's called tail management at the end. <laughs> and, the, okay. and probably you might tuck it. Tuck it. Yeah, okay. And... And you can tuck, yeah, yeah, you'll see where you want to tuck it at the end. Also, I've been known to use glue.
No, <laughs> it's totally not cool, but. Let's see. So this, this is a piece um, that was done by a woman where she didn't tuck in hers. And she learned how to do this online. We gave a class to something called the Creative Center. And she did this online. I mean, I taught her online. It's about, I'll show Yeah. Yep. And then this, that's just to give you a perspective of the size of it. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Yeah, so see, oh, you guys are cool. <laughs> yes, this is the cool table. <laughs> you are the cool table. What do we do with the ends of them? We just like tuck them in in the back? Yeah, in the back. Um, just, you don't even have to pull it that hard in the back. Just a little piece. Yeah. And I was just talking before. That's called tail management. That just sounds really weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to do it that long at all. No. <laughs> Which museum? <laughs> we have an art gallery over there. That's where we're going to put them. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay. Yeah, it, see your art. it would be cool. In the gallery. It would be oh, cool. Liz, Liz, <laughs> see your, see your art in the gallery. I love your little one. That's, I love it. I absolutely love it. I definitely have Valentine's Day on the mind. Like you have your purple on. Yeah. I definitely put some wow. hearts up in my house. I mean, you could also um, use a marker to put a heart on that. Uh, um, you could take some yarn and um, the heart's hard to do. I can't really get into a heart right now, but um, you probably could figure it out on your own, but you could take yarn and just make the shape of a heart and glue it on with, with clear glue um, or draw it on. Yeah, so there's tons of stuff you can do. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Um, if are you this one. that you can do that too if you like go okay. ahead tie it. Okay. That's it's all about. It's all about whatever I want to do. Right? What works for you. I like the tying. Oh yeah, it looks great. Oh, it's great textures. Really nice textures. <laughs> let's let's not let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> you can tuck it back here. Uh -huh. Or once other lady was just, she was tying hers. You could do that if you wanted. Well, and, and you know, I, I mean, I know how I do it on my loom. How do you do it on your loom? I, um, I, would, I would work this through and Correct. just let it end. Correct. And start out, yep. But this next one would start ish. Yeah. And with the, with the weave, with Sari weaving, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm Ooh. Gonna do. That's Where'd really. Where'd my needle go? Where'd my needle go? Really pretty. I love the texture of this. This is one of my favorite yarns. I hope, I, sorry if I didn't have pen, attention to you guys who are live. I hope that you're able to follow what we're doing. Um, I, too bad you can't call in a question. <laughs> we didn't, I didn't forget. <laughs> oh, wow. 
that's but that's cool. Ah, that's really cool with that one. That's really cool. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> can I take a group shot, ladies? I can send it to... Thank you. Actually, you can make a picture. Um, and I can send this information to Liz. I take a tapestry course online, and this is Sayori, but tapestry has its own s stitches to it. So this is a basket weave, but there's all different types of stitches. And one of the classes this lady is giving is working on a small piece like this and teaching you how to make a d design on it. And she's doing so fashion stuff. So this piece was socks. Next week is shoes, um, and you you learn how through stitching to do a picture on it. That's really cool. And this is so relaxing. Well, and then, uh, but you can see, you, you get the benefit. Yeah. You see, you see results right away. Right. This was done by a child at the hospital on the loom. That's so pretty. Isn't it? Yeah, they did such a nice job. Well, the other thing I've done is um, I've read, I've done a class where we read a poem, and we, re we close read a poem, and that takes 30 minutes. You could do a scripture, um, you could close read it, and then to take like, take like look at the first sentence and how does that sound to you? What does that sentence mean to you? Um, and then 
and then take about 30 minutes afterwards to weave to how it speaks to you, which can either be in color or in texture or in words, like the ones I showed you do a very flat um, weaving and, and put in some words um, that are meaningful to you. So there's a lot of different ways that you can, can do it. Um, the other thing I've done is weave to music. Um, now I do, <laughs> but in, you know we've we've to to music. Um, so there's lots of different ways that you can incorporate this into an activity. I thought all of a sudden I was hearing it and I missed it for the first 30 minutes. <laughs>
we're not sure how this translated for our friends at home, but we are happy that everybody was here. I don't know if Gabe can even get a close up of some of the beautiful work that has been done. Um, we have discovered a new way of stress release, and I think we're gonna be doing a little bit more of this. Deb, can I just take a quick, we're just gonna show Deb Holden Holloway. She did a beautiful job. Um, friends, as you go from this space, it's always our wish that you be well, and we will see you back again next week. We will be on Zoom. We, we hope that you are well, and thank you for being with us this evening. And thank you to Ryan.